Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're going to be taking a minute to discuss our guns. And the reason is, in just a couple of hours, Hildren Prime alongside the Larkspur Prime, that absolutely beautiful and fantastic heavy weapon, will be hitting live servers. But unfortunately, the developer hasn't really done anything for our guns in quite the while. And as we know, or should know by this point, our guns unfortunately have been left behind and are seriously underpowered. They are significantly more weaker than primary weapons. About a year ago, I think, 11 to 12 months, something of the sort, we saw the release of the first Prime Argon. It was the first, yes, I'm talking about the Corvus Prime. And the Corvus Prime, my friends, is an absolutely fantastic weapon. It works beautifully well. It was redone in the sense of functionality, and now it's like a heavy Arca Plasmor, only weaker than the Tenant Arca Plasmor. And when I say weaker, I mean substantially weaker, significantly weaker. It cannot compete. Essentially, all of these beautiful, fantastic weapons that I have invested in and you have invested in or okay fine some of us have invested time and resources in are simply put weak while they look menacing big and they have all these limitations imposed on them even though the ammo limitation isn't as bad as it used to be the whole cooldown garbage is still in effect in Warframe and honestly is 100% Pointless. But you know what? I'm gonna put into this as much effort as I did a year ago. So here's me one year ago telling you about this issue since nothing realistically changed. This is a fantastic rework from a functionality perspective. If it looks uh, beautiful or not, that's a subjective thing. But here's the problem. The more I played with the weapon, format it, kind of got to grips with what kind of numbers it can pull and did the math, I quickly realized it's not gonna be a contender for mostly anything. And this is not just a problem with the Corvus, the latest Prime to be released not three days ago. This is a problem with heavy weapons or arc guns in general because these were basically left in the dust. About a year ago we asked for a ranged weapon buff and the developers saw fit to give us galvanized mods and primary weapons arcanes. Now if that was the best way to buff ranged weapons or not, still up for debate from my point of view. But the point is ranged weapons were buffed, okay? They do hit harder. Arc guns though. Not so much. Arc guns barely have anything. Arc guns have no Exilus slot. Arc guns have no weapons arcanes. Arc guns have one prime mod. Prime damage. That's it. Do we even talk about galvanized mods? It's even pointless to talk about galvanized mods. Now I'm not saying hey 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 give us more stuff to grind so we do a bit more damage. I'm saying that arc guns don't stay true to their original intent. Now when they allowed us to use heavy weapons in normal missions the reason behind it was we get to have a big bada boom cooldown, so therefore they limited the use of these heavy weapons. That's why you gotta go through this animation when you call it down from the sky. That's why right now you see on the middle of my screen I cannot. I still need to wait about 90 seconds till it can be called down again. There are a lot of limitations when it comes to these arc guns. Ammo now can be obtained in missions, but it's nowhere as near as common as it should be. Nowhere as near as common as primary and secondary ammo. So essentially, these limitations were put in place because the arc guns, the heavy weapons, were supposed to be this big bada boom cooldown. They're not. They don't even compete with primary weapons anymore. Secondary weapons beat heavy weapons right now. And you know what? It's a crying shame because some of these are absolutely outstanding. Corvus Prime just being one example. But if you're gonna take a look really quick at arc guns, you got the Fluctus, the Larkspur, dude. It's just incredible. You guys gotta try some of these. The Velocitus, this one can still one-shot idle on limbs. No ribbons, by the way, if you guys are interested in using a heavy weapon. Probably not Imperator Vandal, another fantastic weapon. Uh, Prisma Dual Decurions, absolutely insane heavy weapons and my personal favorite, oh my god, the mouse alone. Beautiful, outstanding weapons which I'm sure the developer had to work hard to develop and design, which we're not using. And please, don't use the argument, we're using them in Arcwing, please, just, just stop with that. Sure, we may use Arcwing more than before, but it's still not something that most players look forward to. So this is my rant, our guns need something. From my point of view, there are a couple of options, and I'm gonna suggest a couple of things. You either buff up the power of arc guns across the board, and I'm not talking about just with galvanized mods or simply introducing more galvanized mods or prime mods for arc guns. I do not believe that is that does not stay true to the original intent of this big bada boom cooldown. Basically, a buff across the board so they are actually more powerful than primary weapons, and the limitations imposed on these arc guns then are 
wholeheartedly justified. Or you can go the other route and not buff our guns and just remove the limitations and allow us to play them normally in everyday missions. But without a single buff, even that's not going to be enough because, again, they don't really compete with primaries for obvious reasons. And again, I think it's a crying shame. The Corvus Prime is just the latest victim of this issue, but honestly, these are fantastic weapons. Weapons that deserve to be played. Did you guys even touch the Larkspur? Do you know what the Larkspur does? It's got two fire modes. In primary fire mode, this one, my friends, frontal beam with chains to additional targets, which is absolutely insane. Something like a beam weapon, you know which beam weapon I mean. And secondary mode, oh, in secondary mode, you charge this big bada <laughs> That. <laughs> how awesome is that? Now, how many of you played the Larkspur? And tell me honestly, why didn't you play the Larkspur? Is it the ammo issue? Is it the cooldowns? Is it the fact that this bloody animation, cool as it may be when you call it down from the sky? Of course, cooldown. Of course, I can't use it. It takes a while for it to kind of get going. It's cool. It knocks enemies around you back, which is fantastic. It works with the fantasy that like, ah, oh, big bada boom, cooldown. But honestly, it needs to be three times faster and the cooldown needs to go entirely. Or is it perhaps the fact that you not only need to install an Auto King Catalyst in these bloody things, you also need to install a Gravi Mag. So you gotta farm for the Gravi Mag or pay an additional 20 plat. On top of the plat that you need to pay for the Catalyst. So 20 and 20, that's 40. It's just a crying shame. Honestly, these are some of the most fantastic weapons in Warframe that I believe that a whole lot of players never even heard of and are not using. And that's the gist of it. You see, it's pretty difficult to get excited over a brand new weapon or a brand new anything that you know is gonna come out underpowered straight off the gates. And the developer hasn't done anything regarding our guns in over a year. Essentially, they're abandoned. Now, of course, the developer can come out the gate with a Larkspur Prime that is gonna be crazy in stats, but normally Prime weapons are a very marginal, minor, incremental upgrade over their original. In many cases, Prime weapons are actually weaker than their normal counterparts if you take into account Riven Disposition, therefore kind of shooting down Prime weapons. And I'm gonna close on the following note, dear developer, hopefully you stop sleeping on arc guns, we really need them to be the big bada boom cooldown that you wanted them to be. Either that or please remove the silly limitations since they don't really make a whole lot of sense. As always, my name has been Lazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And I'll get you guys in the next one. Bye.